back to living it away. You know, building wealth is a goal for many of us. Yeah, that's right. And today we're getting tips on how to do just that. Our guest, Kay Mukaigawa, joins us along with a colleague with advice on wealth management. I'm here with Troy Wada, Principal Wealth Advisor with Impact Wealth Solutions. Welcome, Troy. Thanks, Kay. I know in the past you've provided us with information on things like Social Security, long-term care, the stock market, and all kinds of useful tips for our guests. So how have you used all of this varying information to actually help clients? You know, I'd love to learn more about building wealth and understanding wealth management. Kate, okay, that's actually a great question. Most people know that a financial advisor manages investments, but everyone's life can't just revolve around their investments. We take a more holistic approach to someone's wealth. I tell our clients wealth management looks at five disciplines, banking, investments, insurance, taxation, and the law. And it's about understanding how each of these affect your life and more importantly, your plan. So what areas of wealth management are you gonna to cover today? How about banking and investments? Now the term banking for many would mean something like a bank or a credit union. Sure, there's something we'll talk about, but for today's conversation, I want to talk about the bank of you. What do I mean by that? The key to success in any wealth building plan is income. But it's never about how much money you make. It's always about how much money you keep. Getting your budget in order is one of the key things you can do to ensure that you make the most of your finances in 2023. So keeping a budget is key. And since we're on the topic of banking, and of course, I don't want to steal some thunder from your guest Nelson from PRMI, <laughs> but the current rate for a 30-year fixed mortgage is about 5.75%. And you can get a home equity line now fixed for five years at about 4.99. So of course, that's a little higher than we've seen last year. Some people may think that that's because interest rates are high, that now's not a good time to buy a home. And actually, that's the worst thing you can do. It always makes more sense to own a home than it is to rent. Kay, you're the expert at this, but as you know, home ownership will require more planning and shopping for the right home is key. I totally agree. You know, with regard to real estate, if you were on that topic, my favorite topic, we are in a more stable market today than ever. You know, buyers have opportunities today that they didn't have when we were in that 3% range. Many were discouraged and they never got the chance to buy. So. You know, ensuring your investments is, is solid, and that's key. But tell us more about other types of investments. Well, the last time I was on, we talked about things like the 2022 stock market, how we did, and of course, we gave an outlook for 2023. But if you looked at your investment statements, you already know that the stock market didn't return the type of investments that most were used to for the last 12 plus years. So what can we learn from this? Well, now's a good time to make sure you reevaluate your investment strategy and make sure it's in line with your goals, time horizon, risk tolerance, but more importantly, your plan. But besides looking at your actual investments, it's more important to note that in 2023, the required minimum distribution or RMD age has changed to age 73. If you were 72 prior to December 31st of last year, or you'll be turning 73 after January 1st of this year. In 2033, the RMD age will be 75. Another thing to note is that the contribution limits for 401k plans has also increased this year. The most someone can contribute to their 401k plan this year is $22,500 a year. That's an increase of $2,000 from last year. And if you're over 50, you are the fortunate one who can participate in what we call a catch-up and contribute an additional 7,500 to your company's 401k plan. That will bring your total contribution limit for 2023 to $30,000. That's a significant increase from 27,000, which was a maximum limit last year. So be sure to adjust your automatic contributions to your 401k plan at work so you can take advantage of this increase. Now, if you do not have a company 401k plan and are contributing to something like an IRA or a Roth, the contribution limits has also increased for those. 6,500 if you're under 50 and 7,500 if you're over 50. As well as if you have a Roth IRA, those income restrictions for those Roth contributions has also gone up. If you're making a modified adjustment gross income is less than 138,000 if you're single or 228,000 if you're married filing jointly, you'll be able to participate into a Roth IRA. So again, be sure to change your contributions in your company's 401k plan if you're working somewhere that offers it. Great information, Troy. 
If you would like more information, please don't hesitate to give us a call at 808-725-2000. And we'll definitely connect you with Troy. Thank you for joining us and let Engel and Volkers Honolulu simplify your life. Thank you guys so yeah, much. Great um, tips. And don't forget that seminar, I saw it blinking, is this Saturday, mm -hmm. February 11th. So make sure you sign up for that. Um, all you have to do is go to their website or give them a call. Definitely. And there, there are so many great options and different avenues to build your wealth. And so mm -hmm. they're going to be talking about a lot of those as well. So make sure you hit up Kay. She can connect you with Troy as well. I don't know about building my wealth, but keeping it is a thing that hit me the most in that segment. And that's mm -hmm. because I haven't started my budget for this year. So budgeting is such a key thing uh, because if you're making money, you want to be able to keep as much of it uh, in your bank account as, as possible. So thank you for the reminder that it's really appreciated. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. All right. Well